Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at plotting quadratic graphs. This is super easy. I'm going to show you two examples and then by the end you should be able to plot any quadratic graph that you're given in an exam or whatever. So let's look at the first question. It says plot the graph of y equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. Now I instantly know this is a quadratic because the highest power of x I have is x squared. Okay, if there was an x cubed, no longer quadratic because it's an x squared, it's a quadratic. But you could plot a cubic or any other graph this way too. So let's highlight this. We've got y equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. Now in these questions, you'll usually be given a table and a graph, okay? Or you'd have to draw it yourself. But the best way to do it is always start with your table. And you can see here, this table here goes from x equals negative 3 all the way up to x equals 1. And what we're going to do is put these values of x one by one into our uh, quadratic equation and see what value of x comes out. So when x is equal to negative 3, okay, y is equal to, well, let's look at the quadratic. It goes x squared, so negative 3 squared, plus 2x, so plus 2 times negative 3, plus 3, okay? So let's simplify that. Negative 3 squared is 9, plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 3. So we get 9 subtract 6, which is 3, plus 3 is 6. So when x is negative 3, y is equal to 6. Let's look at one more example. Okay, and then I'll just fill in the table to save time. So let's look at when x is negative 2. When x is negative 2, we get negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2 plus 3. Simplify through this, we get 4 plus 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, plus 3. And 4, take away 4 is 0, plus 3 is 3. So when x is negative 2, y is equal to 3. Okay, nice and easy. Now you can practice the rest of the table. It's usually easier with positive numbers. Negative numbers are notoriously difficult, but still not too bad. So let me fill in the rest of the table and you can check your answers. When x is negative 1, y is 2. When x is 0, y is 3. And when x is 1, y is 6. So that's what your table should look like. And you might notice, right, about the point x equals negative 1, the graph is kind of symmetrical because it goes 3 then 3, 6 then 6, okay? And the reason that is is to do with the shape of the quadratic graph. Now quadratics, when we plot them, okay, the shape we should get is something like this. It will either be a U shape like this or it will be an N shape like that. Now immediately you should be able to tell if it's going to be a U or an N shape because of the number in front of the X squared. If the number in front of your X squared is positive, okay, you'll get a U shape like this and if it's negative you'll get an N shape like that so instantly we're looking at this graph we know it's going to be a U shape but how do we plot it right well we look back at our table and we see we've got X is negative 3 Y is 6 well that's a coordinate so remember coordinates go X then Y so when we've got negative 3 6 what we've actually got is negative 3 and 6 as a coordinate let's do the next one we've got negative 2 and 3 negative 1 and 2, 0 and 3, and finally we've got 1 and 6. So you can see these are coordinates, and all I'm going to do now is plot these coordinates onto my graph. So negative 3 and 6, that's going to be up here like that. Negative 2 and 3 is going to be there. Negative 1 and 2, 0 and 3, and 1 and 6. So let me zoom in. You can see I've plotted these points, and you can kind of see the U shape. Here's how we actually plot the graph though. Well, we've plotted it, but here's how we draw it. What we need to do is have a continuous curve, okay, that goes through each one of these points. So it should look something like this. Okay, that's fine. And you can see that resembles the shape of a quadratic. And that's it, we've plotted the graph. Let's take a look at another example. Plot the graph of 2x squared plus 4x take away 3. Works the exact same way. So I'm going to start with x is equal to negative 3. So when x is negative 3, y is equal to, well, 2 times negative 3 squared plus 4 times negative 3, subtract 3. Because all I've done is substitute x equals negative 3 into the quadratic, and I've highlighted the quadratic. So let's work through this. We've got 2 times negative 3, which is 2 times 9, plus, well, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, subtract 3. Then let's work through this. We've got 18, subtract 12, subtract 3. And if you work through that, you get positive 3. So when x is negative 3, y is 3. So again, to save time, also so you can practice, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the table. Uh, but you can check your answers. So 
When x is negative 2, you should have a value of y as negative 3. When x is negative 1, y should be negative 5. When x is 0, y should be negative 3. And when x is 1, y should be positive 3. Now once again, we've got coordinates here. So we've got when x is negative 3, y is 3, negative 2 and negative 3. We've got negative 1 and negative 5. We've got 0 and negative 3. And we've got 1 and 3. So all I'm going to do now is plot these points on my graph. So we've got negative 3 and 3, negative 2, negative 3, uh, negative 1, negative 5, 0 and negative 3, and 1 and 3. So once again, this has kind of been squished together, but you can still see that U shape. So I'm going to draw one continuous line that goes through each of these points. There we go, like that. And that's it, we've plotted that graph. So there you go, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you can plot any graph or quadratic graph, but it works for any graph too. So subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Okay, there's loads of stuff on there. I post every day, Monday to Saturday. Uh, and head over to my TikTok for worked exam questions.